Listen, young man, let your baby mama go. Oh. oh huh. <laughs> Stop trying to work it out for the sake of fat. Don't sweat it. I've seen this story a thousand times and it never ends any differently. She's young, arrogant, popping her because she's getting a lot of attention, but that won't last. A few years from now, when it's a new group of young women getting the spotlight, those cigarettes, the alcohol, the fast food catch up with her, and her metabolism slows down, those section invites aren't in abundance anymore, and she realizes she's not bad, she was just young. Mm. She'll be back, and when she tries to come back, please tell her to kick rocks. rocks. It's family business. You know, he ain't lying, bro. Everybody, hey, every man above the age of 30 no he ain't lying bro that wall is real dog and it's not to be disrespectful or nothing like that it is what it is bro even men as far as our looks of physical attraction our appearance and everything like that our metabolism all of that starts to slow down unless we start to counteract it like hitting the gym really focusing in on a clean diet and kind of stuff like that but man listen let's be real man uh, a lot of women don't give a shit about working out or keeping themselves in shape, man. It's all about the crab legs with the extra butter, the crawfish, the fried seafood, the steaks. You know, they, they just love eating, bro. <laughs> you know, and it catches up to them, right? But the thing that's different between them and us, if we got this and we got some clout, some status, we could... We, bro, we see fat dudes pulling baddies all the time when they get to a certain level. I ain't saying the broke ones are getting, uh, getting to them, but we see people like Rick Ross, Rod Wave. Dudes probably don't have trouble at all getting women, fine women. I ain't saying they're able to keep them because I heard Rick Ross just broke up with a girl he was dealing with. But what I'm saying is the thing that make a man valuable keeps going up with time. But like that physical appearance that women... Have when they 18, 19, 20, man, 80% of them won't have that when they hit their 30s, bro. And it's not that they can't have it. It's just that they don't take the necessary steps, the precautions, the preventative measures, man. You know, every year they gain six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 pounds and it compounds over 10 years. Next thing you know, you're 100 pounds overweight. And everything he just said, it just definitely comes true. All them fine girls from high school, man, 90% of them are garbage now, bro. Like in the looks department. It is what it is, bro. I got to get my comments. Who says that he'd never fuck a bitch like me because my voice is mad masculine? He lying. If you thought I was giving masculine, if you thought I was on some like, yeah, right there. Mm. Maybe if I moan in your ear, you're a goner. You're not going to make it past stroke three. That's it. Okay, I get up right in that ear and hit you with the eye. It's over for you. <laughs> You're not making it. Yo. So I don't care. Well, I couldn't fuck a girl like that. She sounds too masculine. I don't care. Because the nigga that know, he know. All right? I got to be quiet. Because if I get too excited, it's, it's, a, it's up. It's up. Say, bro, you know what's crazy to me, man? We live in a world where, like, this has just become normal. Like, people don't even look at this like this is foul behavior anymore. They, 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 uh, they accept it, right? <laughs> That's just the time we live in it, bro. The only thing you can do as a man is try not to end up with the woman who thinks this is okay. And try not to raise your daughters to think this is okay. That's really all you can do, bro, because the ones that's far, too far gone, they're too far gone. There's nothing we can do for it, right? Water under the bridge. We can't really do nothing about it, you know? We can only focus on ours. <laughs> that's it, man. That's your girl, your kids. That's a wrap. Straight like that, man. Dog, I mean, cool, great. It's, it's nice to know you got that super ooey-gooey Virginia and the moans to couple, uh, couple it. Cool. Handle your business, man. But this one of them conversations where you with some homegirls and a couple of partners, maybe, but the world knows about it. Is she an OnlyFans girl or something? Because then that would make sense. But like women who don't do that line of work, who don't work in strip clubs, why do y'all talk like this on social media? I don't really don't appreciate shit. And this is why chivalry is dead. This is why men don't want to do shit for us anymore. Always been like that. Because 
the minute you start to not appreciate but expect shit, Ooh. I'm not doing it for you. And I'm a woman Ooh. and I feel that way. Preach. And I know men I know men that feel that way. Preach. I feel that way most of the time. I don't have to do anything for you but respect you. I don't have to send you money. I don't have to spend money on you. I don't have to do any of that. That's that's a that's something I want to say, bro. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, man. I'm big on appreciation, dog. Like as a man, I don't receive much from other people. I ain't gonna lie to you. And when I do, I make sure they know that I'm appreciative, man. Listen, bro, you ain't have to do that, bro. Like if a nigga come help me move something, help me build something, bro, he didn't have to do that. Especially if I ain't pay him, he did that out of the kind of his heart. He know that's you know he my dog. I'm his dog. I be there for him. He be there for me, even if it's my girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, if she do something for me. I'ma make sure she feel appreciated. Straight like that. And vice versa. See, my kids though. <laughs> Them mother mm. We ain't even gonna stop. You know what? We're gonna go there. Bruh. Raising girls, dog. I swear, bro. You gotta raise your all you niggas that spoiled y'all daughters growing up. Y'all the reason why a lot of these women is messed up in the head, bro. And another thing I want to say is this. Cool. Take your daughters on daughter, daddy, daughter dates. Donuts with dads. Out of the country. Cool. But you got to keep in mind, bro. If you want your daughter to ever meet a man, you got to save some experiences for the new nigga to give her. Fuck. God, dog. Bro, ain't nothing worse than one of them girls you meet who daddy did everything. You can't even treat her to nothing new. She done been there. She done ate it. She traveled there. God, dog, bro, you been to 62 countries? What the fuck can I do for you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, y'all be raising some spoiled-ass, entitled-ass women, man. And they delusional. And it being on 1% men, right? Oh, I hate y'all, bro. Y'all really ruin it. See, me, on the other hand, now nah, my, my kids ain't perfect, nor my perfect dad, but I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I try to make them earn everything that I give them. I buy them nice things. You know, I just spent $500 on some damn shoes for both my daughters. Dog, when the hell did New Balance become so expensive? Shit! And I went to the uh, New Balance store, bro. Two pairs for both of them girls, bro. 500 Man, I was pissed off at that. And then they act like it's just, they just... They're getting used to it. Like, hold up, baby girl. Say thank you or something. You know what? I'm going to fix you. I got some chores for you to do. <laughs> now, of course, I don't tell them right away that I'm punishing them for not telling me thank you. But guess what? Out the blue, one day, I'm going to have some work for y'all to do that I probably would have made y'all do had y'all just said thank you. Am I an asshole? Probably. Am I going to raise some women who uh, are appreciative of anything a man does? Yes. I'm under the impression that when I get married, it sounds mad. But we're gonna have our own rooms. Five points. Obviously, we can sleep in each other's beds. <laughs> what? Bro, I want my own room in my house, bro. Oh, yeah, no, I hear that, though. I want my own room, and she has her own room, and if I fall asleep in my room, I fall asleep in my room. What? Oh, no. No, what? For the night. Like, it's not every night I'm gonna sleep next to my wife. It's not every night. You, you lost. No, nah, that's about honeymoon now. period. Yeah, no, that, you're talking about honeymoon period. Once the honeymoon's gone, and you're settled in your marriage, you're three years in. It's a partnership now. But if you ain't gonna sleep in the same bed all the no, time, babe. Hey, you know what, though? He ain't lying. Bro, there's been times I fell asleep in here. Straight up. This is a shed in my backyard. <laughs> I didn't fell asleep in this mug before. Real talk, man. I understand it. This is my room. This is my space. My man cave. My studio. My office. I can fall asleep up in here, goddammit. I paid for it. <laughs> But nah, man, I, I, man, you know what? I'm with it, bro. Real talk. If y'all, y'all need some space. Most men want to be left alone, but they don't want to be by themselves. That was a bar by the great late Patrice O'Neill. Most men want to be left alone, but they don't want to be by themselves. <laughs> Leave a nigga alone while he watching it, uh, the game, playing the game, doing whatever it is he doing, shooting pool with his homies. Stop calling the phone every. Man, people got to have boundaries, dog. Real talk. We a housewife when we first met, and I decided to kind of change and wanted a career, and he didn't want that for me, so he gave me an ultimatum, and it's to stay at home and be a housewife or leave and have a career. So I that is bold stuff. Left. Girl, we want to smack you in the face right now. You should. Stupid. So let me ask you this. Was he paying all the bills? Hell no. How was So... Oh, and did you, when you guys got married, that was the plan? Yes. So basically, you had him, your husband, he was your husband? Mm -hmm. 
So he was your husband? Yes. You guys had a family? Yes. You agreed to be a stay at home yes. mom? What made you want to get a job? They called you slow! <laughs> um, when I had to constantly ask for a couple of dollars to do stuff, when it was no, I can't do certain things that I wanted when it was, no, we can't, we don't have enough money to do activities because, you know, one income. And I'm like, well, this is not the lifestyle that I want to live. Like, I just don't want to sit at home and fold clothes and not actually date and have the extra money to do stuff. To start over, I need to start over, okay? Like, I just didn't want to fold clothes all day long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, well, what kind of man are you looking for now, honey? Um, don't hate me for this, but I, I want somebody that's a little bit lit and turned up. My husband was boring. I know, don't. God damn, bro. Damn, bro. Say, dog, the more and more I watch these clips, the more and more I'm starting to give up on these people, bro. God damn, bro, the Neanderthal DNA in this one is serious, bro. Oh, my God, man. You know what? I bet you any amount of money right now that that dude that she used to be married to is up right now. He probably got a new girl that's on his program. He probably making more money by now because dudes be going up, right? She said she thought she wanted a traditional man, but she got one and talking about she don't want full clothes all day. Now, I ain't going to sit up here and act delusional. I understand like a woman do want to still do certain things, but man, a lot of times they be, they, they're, they're really, really unrealistic with the things that they want. Like if this dude is working by himself and he's putting you in a stay at home wife situation, I'm pretty sure that he isn't able to afford the, the lit things that you're trying to do right now. But it could have came later. But women don't know how to sacrifice. And they ain't got no patience no more, man. They want a dude that got it right now. And they want him to act like a, a, a little biatch when they get with him. They want to be able to control that lit nigga. But that, it don't work like that. Because a man that figured life out early and learned how to get to that bag. And he's actually attractive and other women want him. It's going to be hard to tame that type of dude. And what's going to end up happening is this. That dude going to mess clean over her. They're going to have a little fun in the meanwhile. But he going to mess clean over her. And she going to wish she would have stayed with that one dude. Because guess what? She keeps up with him. She know what he got going on. And if he keeps elevating in life, it's going to piss her off even more. It's really going to make her depressed. And she brought it up on herself. She didn't say that he was controlling or nothing like that. So I can't even charge him with that. All I heard was a woman who wanted to do things that was beyond her husband's means. But that's what you signed up for. You knew what type of time he was on. You knew what his income was. You signed up for that. And you pulled a switcheroo on him. I wonder if she took half his shit. We were right all along. <laughs> Not you... The problem is not that you don't want to spend money on women. It's that you don't have enough money. Why would you say that? Which is what we have been saying all along. I highly disagree with that statement. It's not the fact that men don't have enough money to spend it on a woman. They're just coming to the realization that they don't want to and that they don't have to spend money on a woman that they barely know. Or that they are just getting to know. In my opinion, a woman has to earn her place in a man's life for him to be willing to spend the money that he has worked for. I mean, if it's just so easy to spend money on a person that you barely know, why aren't women spending money on men all the time? They're selfish and greedy. Why are women not inviting men for an expensive dinner to restaurants that they wouldn't even take themselves and their friends to? I don't understand your logic. Well, let's be real. Most of the women with this mindset don't have no money. They don't have a, a roof over their own head. They live at home with their mom, bro. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got much to offer in the first place, man. You know, they do have some women like uh, Fanny uh, Williams that'll give you over $200,000 and stuff like that if she really wants you. You know what I'm saying? They got women like that. But the vast majority of them ain't trying to do it. They want a man to come and be traditional. I'll act like a wife when you put the ring on me. But they want you to act like a husband the whole time. Dog, these women literally, you know, we was talking about this at the pool hall, bro. Dude was like, these women want money as soon as you talk to them, bro. Send me a cash app to let me know you're serious. What? 
Hell no, not going down, bro. That is bum activity, and your mama raised you wrong. And I'm sorry you ain't know your daddy because who taught you this? If your mama taught you this, she down bad. And the lack of a father being around is probably the real culprit as well. But nah, dudes is waking up, man. Dudes ain't trying to spend their hard. It's hard out here. Most people are spending upwards of 30% of their income just to put a roof over their head. And you got some chicken head telling you you got to spend a certain amount of money on her for her to be, take you serious. Man, yo, man, look, that shit pissed me off just thinking about it. When Josh and I were sitting on the couch and he told me, I don't think I love you anymore. I told you the truth. I think this is done. And I was in such shock. This was, remember when we were talking about how there was like a, a, we've had many ups and downs, but this was one where we were sitting and I was looking at him and I felt that his heart was like so not available. It wasn't just a normal fight. And Steven, my gut dropped and I felt, it was like all the oxygen got sucked out of the room and I felt like I had fucked up the best relationship that I had ever had hey! with my work addiction. And I remember it was a moment of either like feeling fearful, like, okay, this is done. And I need a defense mechanism, which would be some version of screw you, get out. Do you know what I mean? Like, fine, it's over. And then I said, I remember saying, he said, I don't, I don't think I love you anymore. And I said, that's not true. <laughs> it is fun. And I was like, this is not over. And but it is. And, but it did not come from like, a, it sounds super aggressive. I know that that sounds really scary, but there was, and I'm not kidding you. There was this inner voice that I was like, he's hurt, you're hurt. You were hurt. Fight for this, fight for this relationship. Do not let this go. So that inner voice, you know, it's easy. Especially for someone like me, when, when I can get hurt, like there's a, somewhat of a natural, or at least back at that time, to be defensive, right? And say, you don't love, I don't love you. I'm, this is done. I'm walking out. I don't need you. Yes, you do. And I was like, you fucking be humble and you fight for this relationship. And I remember sitting. A lot of women spend more time trying to take preventative measures to not get cheated on than to actually treat their husbands and their boyfriends kindly and with love in order for them to feel uh, properly taken care of, to want to continue the relationship, bro. All we see is women figuring out new ways to catch you cheating how to get your location, how to get your passwords, how to get your pin to your phone. They got tutorials on this stuff on TikTok. What are the tutorials of the women telling them how to make sure that that man is happy? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, how do you know this man is happy? How do you prevent him from being unhappy? Right? And when she said, she was like, no, this isn't over. I can see how that goes. No, please move out of the way. I'm just going to take my things. And just leave. No, I'm not. I'm not getting. In, I'm. I'm not moving out in front of this door. That's what they do, bro. Keeping it real. It sounds like that's what she did, man. Now all of a sudden, he's unhappy. That means that he can't do the things that you want him to do anymore for you. You're gonna lose out on your lifeline. Oh man, bro. I don't know if this stuff be coming from a real genuine place because there had to be signs that this man was not happy, bro. Before that day passed, for a man to tell his wife he don't think he love her no more, that's some serious shit right there, bro. When a man tell you that he don't love you no more, bro, it's been it's it's to the point of no return, damn. Near. <laughs> I don't know if this gonna work, baby. Nah, man. I want no, bro. See. You be having to hear the A side of the story, the man. Because it's always two sides, man. His version may be a little different than hers.